Hi there! Welcome to my revisit of the Resample project. This work is all about placing sounds everywhere, as well as playing a little bit with some mechanics I'll show you. First of all, let's have an overall view of what the map looks like. It has a sea, different type of trees, various birds and insects, some ground materials, cabins and bushes. All of these sound sources imply different implementation protocols, from simple spot emitters to conditioned sounds. I'll describe shortly each every one of them. The seashore is just about having multiple area shapes disposed all around the island. Their sounds are actually compressed to keep them at a nice level, while not risking them to be too loud at the same time. On the island, there's two types of trees, palms and regular ones. Almost every single tree emits sounds with an area sphere, although to limit the amount of physical voices in use, I've choose to distinguish them as single and group emitters. Firstly, there's two types of birds, seagulls and forest birds. Let's start with seagulls. There is an exterior river that is mostly used by them. The idea here was to have them as low as possible, while keeping them always above the player's head. Forest birds act as sphere emitters, simply playing a wise random container. They can be tricky to spot, because I wanted them to blend with the forest ambience, which I'll talk about in a moment. For those who might know, this project was not built upon the SDK resources. This implied that the MFX library that was given with it was kind of short. So after manually importing the SDK, I just associated the used materials with known surface types by the development kit. So to make it short, for them to work with footsteps, breeze sand had to become concrete or whatever might have an associated effect while keeping the material intact. There's ambiences depending on your localization, as well as your height. I've divided the wind ambiences into three parts, one being constantly there, another in the forest, and the last one at higher altitude. Insects are also present as ambiences, divided into two zones. They are also present as single spot emitters. For individual or group of insects, sounds had to be placed on particle effects, which, when it was relevant, allowed me to make them following their associated particle.
cabins are about having proximity triggers on each of their openings, setting a stake from in to out and vice versa. In interior also, almost every sound gets routed through a short reverb bus while being attenuated. Also, cabins emit random creaking sounds over the time. We're now talking about some mechanic stuff. So, you might have noticed this strange ball that is following me around. I've actually used it as what I'm calling a fake rigid body, since the default mannequin cannot collide with SDK legacy entities. Since then, I've managed to rebase the project upon the SDK, so now that I have the real mannequin, I don't have any more use with this ball. But I just like it, so I kept it with me. Bushes are depending on three conditions. Is the player moving? Is the player in a specific zone? Has the timer been reset? If the player matches all of these conditions, what I'm calling a bush SFX object gets teleported at his last known position. When the player gets into a bush, a first sound will be triggered, and another one a second later if the player is still moving. Rather than just triggering a 2D sound, I really wanted the sound to be localized on the player's path. Last but not least, there's an adaptive music going on. It simply depends on which side of the island the player is. Since there wasn't much room left for music, I've just composed a discrete theme with a kalimba and a xylophone. And now we are done! I hope you liked all of this, and as a conclusion, let's have a full run of this project.